So you won't see me making videos like this very often. It's not kind of my style. It's not what I like to do. I will be going on a little bit of rant today. If you're interested in the backstory of what gave me to this rant, keep watching this video. If you're interested in just the rant, fast forward to this portion of the video and you'll get to the details of the rant itself. So my journey into being a Destiny 2 player is, is long, like everyone else's. And when I first started, I was not someone who played online multiplayer games. Um, it just wasn't my style. Getting into Destiny kind of started getting me down that road. And I can remember early on, one of my first experiences trying to play with other people. I didn't have a mic, even though I had played a few multiplayer games, but I'd never done that before. So I was playing Prison of Elders. I'd got into a, a, I don't even remember at the time, it was probably the 100 or one of the other sites out there to match up with people. And I had joined basically to get that activity completed. And I was struggling, right? I, I held my own, but you know, I was fairly new to higher end content and I did struggle a little bit. And these guys were on mic and, you know, obviously they didn't push back on me to tell me I should put a mic on, right? They just, we just kept going. So we got very close to finishing the activity and I died a few times, but I'd also res them a few times. So obviously, you know, I was, you know, helping to some extent. And we got to the boss at the very end and he had a very little amount of health left. And they kicked me from the activity before I could get my loot. And from there, I was like, you know what? I enjoy the game, I like playing PvP solo, I like doing the missions and things like that, but I'm not doing multiplayer, I'm not playing with other people. So I continue to fast forward and I got a little bit more interested in things like raids and stuff like that. I joined a clan that was fairly toxic. The clan in question had ridiculous rules for how much you had to be active. And when you got in activities, if you actually played with these folks, they're kind of toxic to you if you didn't know what you were doing. Even though you were in the clan, they didn't really teach you, they kind of just beat you up until you know you did exactly what they said. And if you weren't good, they didn't teach you to get better, they just said, hey, go over here and do this. We'll do this for you. You suck. So because of that, I got completely turned off from the multiplayer portion of it. So I just did my things. I played a lot of Destiny. I even soloed Crota by myself. But I said, I'm not playing with other people because I don't need this toxicity in my life. Fast forward a little bit later, and I met up with a clan that I'm still into today. And one of the great things about this clan is that, you know, like my channel, you know, Part-Time Guardian, we were all part-time people. Most of us are parents. We played the game, we tried to get better, you know, in our part time, right? But what was different about this clan, they actually taught people. They were patient with people. They had tolerance for people. It was something I wasn't used to. And so eventually I ended up becoming an admin in that clan and ended up running it, right? And so one of the things it taught me, because outside of what I do here, I originally, my original degree is in education. I like to teach people. I like to help people learn. I like to mentor people. It's something I do in my job today. So it gave me a platform to be able to do that and help other people to basically not be that clan or those type of people who only, again, we all have times where we want to play end game content. Where we want people that know what they're doing. Even I do that. But there are other times where you can help and bring other people with you right and that's what i really valued out of that clan experience so then fast forward a little bit later and i was actually laid off from my job at one point obviously you know got my back my job back my, or job back and you know gainfully employed and everything and actually worked out well in my favor but during that time i had some free time and i started thinking well i was on severance what do i want to do during this time period and i learned some other skills for work and things like that but one of the things i did is i started this channel with the expressed reason that I wanted to create an atmosphere or, or guides where people who are average players can learn to be just a little bit better because I've done a lot of things in this game and I've done this from learning from others. And so, like I said, I've you know gotten titles for high-end raids, I've completed GMs, I've gotten those titles, right? I've been able to do a lot of things because I've, I've basically learned from these other people and now I bring other people along to do the same thing. So I have an extra special low tolerance for toxicity, for people who think and live that only the best players in the game are worthwhile and everyone else, they don't matter. That really grates on my nerves. And so that's one of the reasons I made this because I've seen more of that in recent years and recent months. And I just want to speak out against it because I think there's a place in this community for people who are trying to learn and get better and have every right to play the game just like the some end game players who can be toxic and keep in mind i'm not saying every end game person is toxic right but let me get to the rant now so if you've gotten this portion you've gotten to the rant instead of going through the rest of the uh, history of how i got here and again if after you hear the rant 
you want to hear the history of how I got here and some of my backstory on why this is important to me, feel free to go back to the beginning of the video. So I don't like making videos like this. It's not really my style. I've really noticed, like I said, a lot of people being toxic, especially some end game players. And again, this is anyone specifically. I've just noticed it in the interactions of people I interact with. I've noticed it with some content creators. Again, nothing against certain people if that's what they wanna do, right? But it's sort of an entitled thing that, hey, it, the only people who matter in this game are the people who are so good at endgame content that it's become easy for them and they kind of lose all the people who they could potentially help, right? Because the game isn't more is, isn't difficult enough or we need this or we need that or you guys suck or get good, right? And there's always been some of that in Destiny, but I've seen a lot more of it recently. But here's the thing. I respect a lot of people who do endgame content to bring people along. There's plenty of content creators, plenty of people that I know who do that. But I don't have any respect for people who work the other way. If you think about it from percentages perspective, I think I've seen I've seen information that says that only like 10% of people have even completed a raid within Destiny 2. And you could go back and forth. There's different data sources. It could be 10, it could be 15. If you take a subset of that, you're probably looking at a single digit percentage that have completed multiple raids, or have gotten raid titles, or have gotten conquer title, or have done anything that's really difficult in the game. That's a very small percentage of the paying public for Destiny 2. So in many respects, those people, if they're really toxic, again, don't bring other people, don't expand the player base, but are all about themselves, they're parasites. And you wanna know why? Because they work on the backs of all the people who pay for the game. They, and it's not to say they don't pay for the game, but they pay for a very small percentage of the budget that Bungie gets for making the game. The majority of people are casual or what I call mid-casuals. There's casuals who just dab a little bit. There's mid-casuals and maybe they're starting to get into raids, they're starting to get in GMs, they're starting to get better, but they're not, and they're probably never going to be those people who are gonna do day one clears and things like that. Their voice matters. And here's the reason their voice matters. The reason their voice matters is since they make up 95% or more of all of the people who pay for Destiny, they have every right to play this game as these people who are entitled. Again, it's just the toxic people who are entitled and basically want to put everyone else down. You're the parasite. You're the people who not only are dragging the community down, but not increasing the size of the community. Because the more we increase the size of the community, the more money Bungie's going to have and the better this game can be. So again, I don't care if you're the person who's this much better than everyone else in the game and everyone should worship you, that's not real. What's real is people who are trying in a community to learn how to be better at the game because they can only do it in their part time. They can't do this full time, right? And some of those people will never have the mouse skill or the mouse and keyboard skill or controller skill that you have in the game, but their voice matters. And again, there are more of them, those guys that play strikes, who just go and do public events, who do casual crucible. There are more of them than everyone else who's potentially hardcore. So respect them. Their voice matters more than your voice. Again, I respect people who do great things in this game, but respect everyone else as well. Again, sort of a rant. Just had to get that off my chest. It had been frustrating me for a while, but that's the reason I do this channel. I do this channel so I can take people who start out like I did very average guardian with not a lot of time to play and in your spare time becoming that person that not only can get better at the game not only can do better content but can bring everyone with them those are the people we should be celebrating the community and those are the people who are more important than everyone else that's the video guys if you like it feel free to like the video subscribe to my channel jump my discord and i'll see you guardians in the tower